Hi, welcome to Play Along Checkers. Today we're going to go over the game played by uh, Robert Stewart Red versus Noel Banks White for a World Championship match. Um, you can either watch or play along. The first move by Red is 11 to 15, 22 to 18, Red jumps 15 to 22. 25 to 18. Now this is the single corner opening. 12 to 16, a popular variation. 18 to 14. Some consider this the best reply. 9 jumps to 18. There's going to be some exchanges here. 23 jumps to 14. 10 jumps to 17. 21 to 14. Here Red goes 6 to 10, squeezing the check on 14. White goes 29 to 25. Red jumps. White comes 25 to 21. Now here in the, the in Kingby, Red played 22, 17 to 22, and White jumped 26 to 17. And then we, that was the game. Now we're going to play another popular variation. It's good to know more than one way to play it. 1 to 6, white jumps 21 to 14. Now here it might look attractive to go 6 to 10, uh, however it loses because if red goes 6 to 10, white goes 14 to 9, red jumps 5 to 14, and then white has this move right here, 24 to 19, and when red jumps 16 to 23, white jumps 27 to 9 and wins. So red plays 8 to 11, white plays 26 to 22 to put some support to his check on 14, red goes 4 to 18. Now, 4 to 8, excuse me. Now it's important that uh, when a person moves, like when red moves, his last move is to pay attention to his move to see if he's threatening anything. Here white uh, He's, Red is trying to get in 16 to 19, 24 would jump 15, and then 11 to 25. So that's the, that would be uh, his uh, threat. White goes 30 to 25 to cover up this. Red goes 16 to 20. Uh, white goes 22 to 18. Now, White also could have played 24 to 19, uh, but it, he, he goes for the center move uh, right away here. Red now goes 6 to 10, squeezes again. White covers up 25 to 21, and they exchange 10 to 17, 21 to 14. Here, Red continues with his plan 2 to 6. Next move is going to go to uh, 10, and, and he's threatened 14. But white response 27 to 23 to prevent that threat. Red jumps. White jumps. And now here, if red plays 6 to 10 now, white would go 14 to 9, 5 to 14, 18 to 9. Although uh, white is... Uh, white is... Uh, slightly favorable. Okay, now here Red, instead of playing uh, playing that, plays 11 to 16. Now, in check is a game of decisions uh, and a game of looking ahead. One thing, now, White has a choice. If White goes 24 to 19, it loses. 24 to 20 is the correct move. Now, let's see what happens. A lot of times people play and they're playing a solid game like this, and then they didn't make any mistakes, and all of a sudden, they they don't look ahead, and they make an incorrect move, and that costs them the game. So 24 to uh, 19 loses. Red goes 16 to 20. Now here, say White would play 32 to 27 here. All variations lose, by the way. Red would go 8 to 12. Now, White can do two things. If, if he goes 28 to 24, 
Red just goes 7 to 10, 14 to uh, 7, 3 to 10. And these, these checkers all tied up. The next move would be uh, 18 to 15, and then 12 to 16 would break up the elbow. Now, if so the other move uh, he could do is go eight, 18 to 15. And here, white would give him, a red would give him a checker, 12 to 16, white jumps, and red goes seven to 10. When white, white jumps, red gets the triple. And there's a f uh, f uh, upper checker and would win. Now, that's why it's important to look ahead and check out your choices. Okay, so white plays the correct move 24 to 20, and red goes 16 to 19, white goes 23 to 16. Here, red goes just like his plan all along. He's finally going to get his checker back and, uh, and win the check on 14, goes uh, 6 to 10. White goes 12 to 16. Red jumps. White, now you're in the game, in game and every move is important, checkers. White goes 18 to 15, and which is a good move. I hear they ad agreed on a draw, and the reason why is they looked ahead and seen there was a draw. But let's play out a few moves. 17 to 22. Yeah. 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 Gets the king. Here. Now white's threatened, next move 16 to 11, red would jump 7 to 16, and then white would jump 20 to 4 for a double. But red has uh, his reply, knowing that threat is just to get his own double, 7 to 11, when white jumps, red jumps 2, white jumps, uh, gets his king, and as you see, 3 and 3 in a draw, so they picked the correct conclusion. Playing over Master Games, World Championship Games, and studying the games from the past is a good way to improve. Thank you for watching this video.